Hi guys and welcome back to the next video in the series talking about the different light modes that we have to assess skin and clinic. My name is Renee Sorbonne, Dermal Educationist, and I thank you for taking the time to join me in this mini educational series. Okay, yesterday we discussed the daylight mode, and today I'm going to go in and talk to you about the woods light. So let's share screen. So we're going to move. Perfect. So here we have daylight mode on the screen. You should be able to see it up right now. And when we're doing um, analysis, obviously uh, understanding what you can see with the naked eye is first and foremost. Um, it's kind of how we've done it for ages. I used to jot down on a piece of paper with an image of a face on it so that I could remember what I saw in daylight mode. And when you do our training, you understand why that is really important. So when you're documenting what you can see with the naked eye, you can then go and compare the other light modes with what you did. Now, with the observed that's super easy because you simply bring up the other light mode right next to it. So I might go and pick my daylight mode here and I'm going to bring up um, the woods light so that I can have a direct comparison as you can see on screen here. Okay, so let's talk about some of the diagnostic values that we can find within the woods light. So as we've seen daylight, we're taking our client on a journey beneath the skin and we are looking to see what we cannot see with the naked eye. Now in this image, it happens to be pretty clear because you can see pigmentation. We are looking for um, things like a loss of structural integrity, as you can see around the eyes. We are looking for sebaceous secretions. So these lumen illuminations here, the neon fluorescence is absolutely epidermal lipids on the surface of the skin. And I can see that I have it around the nose, around the chin. So you can see that this person has um, some lipids, but nothing extensive to write home about. Now, we can also compare it between previous sessions. So if we go to one of her earlier sessions, um, we can actually compare to see how that um, lipids have come around. I'll pull up this one. The previous one has sunscreen in it. So as you can see, we have made progress because in this one there was no lipids, almost none to be seen. There's nothing uh, fluorescing back at us. Um, whereas in this one, we can see that uh, um, on the nose and on the chin. So that's really making headway into restoring skin barrier function when we are able to restore the lipid content of the skin. So pigmentation, loss of structural integrity. You can see how the chin is a little bit darker in this image as well around here. Um, so, you know, wherever um, there is vascularity, you can typically see that loss of structural integrity in the UV mode, and we'll talk about vascularity in another session. Um, sure, I can see the scar present. I can see some, pig, um, for, uh, some pigmentation happening here as well. Remember that this one, this is why you really have to compare against daylight mode as well, and note what you can see with the naked eye first, because... Um, that's in the gray. I'll just do that again so you can see the difference. So that is the, um, come, let the computer catch up with me. So that is obviously the hemangioma, and this is the lesion that we're looking at. Just a little bit of a challenging area on the skin, a little breakout starting there, a closed comedone, um, but you can see that there's pigment lurking beneath. And of course, this is an in individual with high risk of post-inflammatory pigmentation. You can see all this details going in as you are magnifying. So while you can't see that pigmentation greatly with the naked eye, you can see it for sure when you are comparing it in UV mode, or sorry, in woods mode. Okay, so one of the drawbacks of this particular light mode um, is that there's an overwhelming amount of blue underneath this light mode, or black if you want to refer, as it's commonly referred to as the black light as well, right? So tomorrow we are going to have a quick comparison and talk to you about the true UV light, which means that we have really harnessed this technology and allowed it to become far 
more crisp and clear in the image itself and you will see the benefit of that and why we've embodied both these technologies um, so that we can see more clearly but also the reasoning behind why we kept this woods mode present. All right, so see you tomorrow.